Well, hello, and welcome to a review of the newcomers. And as you can tell from the synopsis on the back and the pictures, it is a family, sappy, feel-good film where the kid's best friend is a dog. This formula has been done and done and done again. So if you're going to do the formula, you better bring some creativity to it and uh, give us some rich and well done characters that we care about. So, let's have a look. Well, the first thing to note is this cheap piano music. Oh goodness, this is truly woeful. Happy anniversary! Oh, whoa, anniversary? What's your date today? It's not the 4th of July, Dad. May 10th. It's okay, I know you've been busy. I knew we'd forget. I swear to God, it is SAS. What's SAS? Selective Amnesia Syndrome. Happy anniversary. Oh, Gary. <laughs> SAS. <laughs> now, you know, if you're not busy tonight, I know a uh, nice little Irish pub. I would love to. Yeah? But I have two kids. Two kids, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't sell them. <laughs> How about that big one on the left? Maybe she could earn her allowance. <laughs> yeah, well, it's time and half on short notice. <sighs> oh, aren't these people cool? And this will be a joy to watch for the next 80 minutes. And I guess that tacky piano music isn't going anywhere either. No, wait, who is this guy? I'm, I'm sure I've seen him in something before. Just a moment. Let me think about this. Matt McCoy! I saw him in that! And now I'm gonna see him in this! Oh my god! So now we're introduced to these dumb stereotype jock characters who after being rejected by the hot sister decide they're going to frame her by stealing the computer and making it look like it was her. That plan is foiled, however. How you doing? What the hell was that? I, I decided to testify. I, I know it's the right thing to do. Do you know that you're a fucking horrible actor, completely inept at conveying any sort of emotion? For testifying against the two jocks, they decide to take revenge in a pathetically unconvincing scene. But don't worry, the kid miraculously heals, unfortunately, and they move out to the city to escape the dangers of the city. So it's goodbye to the stereotypical jocks, and hello to the unwelcoming stereotypical hicks. My goodness, was it this film's agenda to pull every cliché in the book? What are they gonna do? Ain't no hell spawns around here. Dolores always loved that house. Well, their neighbors are hostile, but luckily Mark Pearson is welcoming. As the obnoxious music continues to test the viewer's patience, we are introduced to the customary best friend, who wrecks the kids' groceries. Speaking of trouble, we are now about to be introduced to the three troublesome kids of the film who are about to give Sam a very hard time. Going. Win. Hey, look. The new girl's been shopping. Oh. Well, I hope he's got a good comeback for that one. I'm not a girl. Really? That's the comeback? Why not have made some remark about the guy's earring? That makes him look a lot more feminine than he does. I mean, really, I pulled that out of nothing on the spot, and the scriptwriters couldn't have come up with something better than I'm not a girl? So they decide to egg his hair, but don't worry. The fearsome companion's gonna chase them off. Huh, really? That's frightening? Well, apparently it is to them, but look at this. It doesn't even chase him, it runs past him. 
explosives. I was running. I tripped. Just believe me, okay? Okay, you go wash up and I'll make you something to eat. Look on the bright side, Sam. Eggs have a lot of protein. They're good for your hair. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you, Chaser? You don't have any place to go. I'd like to keep you. I have to ask my folks. Why do people always talk to animals in these films as if the animals can understand them? <laughs> Isn't that really lame? Don't you agree with me, Mr. Video Editing Scottish Pig? Okay, there's really too much happening in this crock of shit and a lot of it's really unnecessary, but here's one of the things. The guy doesn't get his job thanks to politics. She ends up resorts to dining, uh, excuse me, waitressing at a diner. And, uh, yeah, these kicks give her a hard time, so she, look, oh, ha, 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 she's gonna put chili sauce in the guy's pancake. Um, in typical stereotype fashion, we have the goofy villain of the film getting comically owned. Uh, here we go. Oh, hardy ha, yes. You get your comeuppance, sir. Yeah, cough and splatter on that. And in typical stereotype fashion as well, the hard, serious dick maintains his... Serious, uh, tough prowess. Great. Hmm. The troublemakers uh, now decide that they have a way of getting closer to the sister if they befriend Sam. So, we have a little change in direction here. Now, now Billy Kay and Paul Dono were fantastic in L.I.E. And uh, Josh Peck was outstanding in Mean Creek. But sadly, the talents of these actors can't drag any life into this pitiful excuse of a movie. Um, on top of their dialogue being absolutely atrocious, check out what the characters get up to as a form of recreation. Konnichiwa! Welcome to Woodfield Square Gardens for World Sumo Championship! <laughs> What the fuck was that? What is that? Well, don't you want to be friends with us? Fuck no, you keep that shit to yourselves, please. I'm just gonna talk over this because seriously, I, I need to get this done now. This film is just fucking painstaking to watch. Oh shit. So this is their stereotyped relationship. What else could it be in this film? Oh, fuck, we keep hearing this fucking obnoxious music. Um, alright, we're about to come up to the obligatory fat joke in a film. This seems to be, if you have a fat character in a film, wait for it, yes, you see, when you have a fat character in a film, apparently it's mandatory that you give him the joke that he has a lot of food. Ha ha, yes, ugh, fuck me, just kill me now, please. Now, you know what sucks about this scene is that it is strikingly resemblant to uh, that scene in Stand By Me and that just makes me wish I was watching that and instead I'm watching this the guy falls in the water but don't worry Sam heroically saves him and now the Baywatch Resuscitation has never been easier. Just three compressions done wrong, and fantastic, he's back. Oh, fuck this film, fuck it. Fuck it right in the ear. Well, it's a very happy ending thanks to that, and that's it. The Newcomers is just sincerely dreadful. It's... It's acting in the same way that going out into the street and taking a piss is performance art and it is genuine torture to watch. Oh my god, I think I just saw the worst film I've ever seen in my life right now. You've never seen a film this shit before Yeah, stereotypes and cliches galore This guy's a real dick and this bitch is a whore Yeah, it's tedious and it's just a genuine bore. 
And I might need to get a lobotomy I pray to God that I can erase this memory Oh wait, I don't even believe in a deity Yet I'm praying to him, is that blasphemy? I said I've never seen a film this shit before